When the people are well looked after, the country will prosper and the nation will grow stronger. Again, Honorable Speaker, when the people are well looked after, the country will prosper and the nation will grow stronger. Honorable Speaker, no matter how many forums, summits, meetings, and consultations we do, if we continue to neglect the people and turn a blind eye to their voice and needs, there will be no progress, there will be no economic prosperity, there will be no growth and development. Yeah, 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 yeah. A reminder to the government of the day, you are there because the people entrusted their hopes and aspirations of a better family, better community, better Fiji to you. Honorable Speaker, as policymakers, we need to ensure that the people of this country should always come first because they are the very reason we are represented here as members of parliament. We are not here because of certain businesses and business people. We are not here because of some companies or NGOs. We are here for the very people whose votes gave us the power to become ministers and members of parliament. Yeah, yeah. To the coalition government, we need to stop the blame game and habitually imputing the past practices of the previous government as a reason to get away from the expectations of the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay true to your purpose and never deviate from the vision of the great leaders that has gone before us. You need to be bounded by the unity and faith of the people of Fiji, irrespective of their gender, race, or ethnicity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honorable Speaker, sometimes we hear words on the streets saying, we need to accept that some of the promises made during the election campaign will not be fulfilled because this is a coalition government. Let me be frank with the coalition government. Stop focusing on the issues within your coalition partners. Stop fighting for survival within the coalition government. But fight for the survival of other refugees who are living from paycheck to paycheck and hoping for a better Fiji. Honorable Speaker, it's time to call for a stop of just using people for our very own political gain. For too long, some of us politicians are only seen during election campaign visiting people and going out hearing the voice of the people. But when we are in power, we tend to totally forget the people that voted for us. Honorable Speaker, we visited their doorsteps in trying to win their votes. But when they come into your various office space, they are told to make appointments. And at times, they are given the biggest runaround of their life. Some have found it easier to talk to God than even trying to meet the ministers in person. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, some Fijians even ran out of credit after having their phone calls being transferred about five to six times just to converse with the ministers. Some people thought they are emailing the guidance of the galaxies because it takes months for ministers to even respond to their email. Honorable Speaker, they need to be at the forefront of serving the people, irrespective of their class in the society. Try and avoid using the pipeline system to process issues and concerns of the people. As ministers, you need to go out more locally, not internationally. You need to hear the heartbeat on the ground, engage ordinary Fijians in Talano session and see the reality of what the people are facing. Honorable Speaker, we are elected to defend the interest of the people of Fiji at all cost. If it takes us to do some sacrifice in our decision making, do it because of the people and there should be no two ways about it. Honorable Speaker, what I have observed in the last parliament sitting, we have spent a lot of time in political talk and less people talk. Honorable Speaker, 
Again, what I have observed in the last parliament sitting, we have spent a lot of time in political talk and less people talk. Yeah, yeah. We are wasting our time trying to talk about the previous administration. We are too fond of trying to find fault about each other. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, the danger of this when we are too focused on each other, we will forget the people we serve and what is required of us to carry out our roles and responsibilities. Honorable Speaker, we need to honor our promise and words spoken during the election campaign. The people of Fiji are observing and listening watching every move we make. Yeah. Honorable Speaker, the people of Fiji need to have the assurance that they are not given false hope, but are guaranteed that their interest is well served with the current government.